doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? All right. All right. You right? Yes, sir. Good. Already one of Detroit's favorite sons, Dave Bing is looking for something more. Let's give it up for the next man to sit in Detroit and watch. How you doing, man? All right. Oh, man. Hey, man. How you doing, man? He's looking to lead the city out of the darkest period in its history. A lot of people have given up. And if Detroit keeps down this road uh, of failure, um, we will not have another chance. The city will never be the same again. In January, Detroit's unemployment rate exceeded 22 percent. The auto industry is in shambles, and the city faces escalating crime and a $300 million deficit. Why do you want to run a city that some people wrote off a long time ago? I'm not a masochist or anything like that, but uh, I do think this city is worth saving. All right, you ready? I'm with you, sir. All right. At 65 years old, Bing has no political experience. But after a 12-year Hall of Fame career ended in 1978, Bing founded a steel company two years later that has since grown into a business with $300 million in annual sales. Dave knows the pulse. He understands the pulse of Detroit. Pistons president Joe Dumars has been with the team 24 years as both a player and executive. Hey, I came to this job that I'm doing right now with no experience. And so I looked at things from a simplistic, common sense way of doing business, as opposed to, well, you know, 20 years ago, I remember I did this. Well, Dave is the same way. I mean, he would come at it from perspective that is non-political. Hello there, how are you? I'm not anti-politicians, but I'm much more pro-business. And business is what creates jobs. And it's time for somebody with a business background to move into the mayor's office to fix some of the problems that we have. Dave Bing is on top right now with 25% of the vote. There you go. 25,000 votes in all. In a February primary, Bing won the right to run against interim mayor Ken Cockrell Jr. in a special election on May 5th. Let's go. I want to thank the voters here in Detroit for making me the top vote getter. The winner of this Tuesday's general election is completing the term vacated by former mayor Kwame Kilpatrick, who resigned last September and served time in jail after pleading guilty to obstruction of justice. I think there was outrage, there was apathy, um, people didn't trust uh, government at all. And I think my 40 plus years here, uh, I've never gotten into any kind of trouble whatsoever. But trouble came to Bing's campaign when false statements he made about his education surfaced in March. In an online video for the National Retired Players Association, Bing said he earned an MBA and that he graduated from Syracuse on time. I got a good education while I was in school. I was one of those guys that graduated in four years. In fact, Bing didn't graduate until 29 years later. Syracuse University released a letter defending Bing, saying although his degree was technically in 1995, the university has always considered Bing a member of the class of 1966. As for his claim of having a graduate degree in business, Bing says he mistook an honorary degree he received for an MBA. I said MBA, and it should, I shouldn't have said that because that was not the case. Were you embarrassed? Um, to a degree, um, but once again, uh, the life that I've lived <laughs> uh, supersedes um, uh, that statement in, in my mind, and that's, I mean, it's history. However, the issue became instant ammunition for Bing's critics, including his opponent, Ken Cockrell Jr. And good evening, everyone, and welcome to the televised Detroit mayoral debate. I do find it a little hard to believe that somebody can forget that they didn't earn a degree. I just don't, I don't, I don't. I'm, I don't get that. I mean, the reality, the reality, the average person probably has, the average person probably has those documents either hanging on their wall at home or in their office. I can and how was that. that trust that you felt like you built, how was that impacted? Um, I think for a short term, um, people had to question, you know, is this guy who he says he is? Whatever mishap there was about the um, degree thing wasn't enough for me. Uh, to get off the bandwagon of supporting this guy. If elected, Bing says he will donate his entire salary to the Detroit Police Department. Still, some don't believe Bing is the answer. Dave Bing is a nice old man who should be re enjoying retirement right now. 
Adolph Mungo is a native Detroiter and a longtime political consultant who has worked for two previous mayors, including Kwame Kilpatrick. You just can't come here and say, because i got a business here, so you need to make me the mayor and I'm going to lead you to the promised land. It's not going to happen. We are a cliquish group of residents here. If I don't know the answer, I'm not going to stand in front of you and BS you. We don't need Dave Bing right now as the leader. We need somebody with some experience, somebody that's willing to roll their sleeves up and, and get down and dirty with the community. I'm going to get my hands dirty. I'm going to be involved. People need to understand that I know what they're going That's through. Personal, right. I know it. You know it. <laughs> ain't, nothing, ain't nothing wrong with Same it. Same here. Nothing personal. Ain't nothing wrong with it, man. I'm you actually know, a big what, fan. You know what? When it's all over, we got to do it anyway. It's the we part that some Detroiters aren't buying.